This podcast is not a substitute for a relationship with your mental health professional. Hey, 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 welcome back to the Mental Health is a Lifestyle podcast. Hey, family, with your girl, Andrea Wise Brown. And family, I have a special guest here with me to share with you. Her name is Marta Harrington. Hey, Marta. Hello, Andrea. How are you? I am doing well, and I'm really happy that you are here with me today. So, Marta, I'm pronouncing your name Marta because I've heard you say Marta. Mm-hmm. But normally, if I were just to see it, I would read it as Martha. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but correct me. So what what do you want me to call you, Marta or Martha? Martha. Mar- oh, girl. So you dropped the tongue. That was... <laughs> <laughs> because I want to make it easier for you. Don't make it easy. Just tell me what to say. Martha. Martha. Yes, you see? <laughs> <laughs> So I really messed it up. Yeah. <laughs> Marta. 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 That's better. Okay, Marta. Okay. All right, family. So I'm getting Spanish lessons here. No. <laughs> yeah, Spanish lessons. Yes. yes. Marta. Okay, there we go. So Marta ha- Harrington. Yes. Yes. So, um, oh, this is the deal. If y'all are not family, I want you to be family and you're just scrolling by, please click that little button and subscribe to the podcast, like the podcast and share the podcast and then meet us back every week. So today, family, um, I want to jump into this conversation, an organic conversation with a powerful, smart, resilient woman. Oh, absolutely. Um, so let me let me start off by saying this. I'm going to set the scene for you guys. Um, I was mm, at at an event. I was at an event at uh, Susie's house, Susie Batista's house. And it was um, it was a, a beautiful event. And she has a beautiful home. There was a renovation that she had just done. So she had just had this new renovation um, downstairs in the bottom, I guess the bottom, the basement of her home, the basement of her home. Okay. And so, um, anywho, while Susie was displaying, you know, had the people who were there, she was displaying the new renovations to her home. As I'm walking through the downstairs and I'm just looking at everything and everything was exquisite. Everything was beautiful. It was, it was beautiful. It was like, oh, it was, it was giving me like Neiman Marcus uh, in the middle of Soho in New York, maybe a little bit of Barney's New York. But yet, <laughs> like an art gallery, it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Okay, so as I'm I'm walking through, I come down the hall, and then all of a sudden, I see Marta. I see you coming my way, or whatever. So you look familiar, and I'm like, oh, okay, I see her. And then you said to me, I know you, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. And then I stopped and I'm like, I know you too. And then we talked because you reminded me that we both were in one of Susie's uh, classes. Alive. Alive. What, Alive OS. Okay. And so then um, I say to you, I'm like, Marta, isn't this beautiful? And you go, yeah, I did it. <laughs> yes, I remember that. <laughs> I'm like, what? You did this? You said, oh, yeah, I'm the one that did the renovation. So in that moment, honey, y'all know that emoji with those two hearts in the eyes, the little two hearts. That's what my eyes was doing. Because I said, first of all, I'm just seeing you, a Hispanic woman, like you were just in charge of this. Like you, you renovated this and you said to me, yes. And you said, and it has been a journey just that your life has been a journey. 
And I want to share this story with you guys because it is going to empower you. So Marta, please, um, please. Okay. I want you to take us back because I know you weren't, you didn't just come out your mother's hoo-ha mm. <laughs> as this interior designer, right? You had this life before that. Yes. I, it, it was a, a very hard journey to mm. get to where I am right now. Um, speak in the mic. We, um, well, first of all, I grew up in Mexico mm. and, um, in a very, very, very small town. And, um, I always knew that I wanted something else. Everybody was just, um, living the life, uh, trying to, uh, uh, just get married. Um, and that was all they were thinking about. And, and I knew that I didn't want that. Mm. Um, so at 18, when I was, when I graduated from, uh, uh, high school, my father told me there's nothing else for you here. I mean, in my little town. Mm. And at the beginning I got so angry, um, uh, because I, I couldn't believe that my father, I was 17 or 18. And um, so what I did is um, I left the next day. I left. Wait a minute. Hold on. The next day after he said that, made that comment to you, after you graduated. I left my house the next day. Uh, we <laughs> I went to a city where I didn't know anybody. Um but I I was I was so angry at him because he said that to me and 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 that gave me like um, uh, uh, energy power to to get out of the house mm -hmm. um, and I went um, to this city without <laughs> with no money um, and I bought the newspaper for that day um, and I saw the uh, uh, jobs. Offerings that you, uh, I look at the newspaper, that's uh, ad section. Yes. So I found that uh, somebody was looking for a maid and a nanny. And I knew that that was the only way I could do something because in Mexico you have to stay in the house. So they, they offer you a home and they offer you a job. So I took it and I went for the interview and they gave it to me right away. Uh, so that started my journey. Um, I never, I'm going to pause. I, I never realized that, that what my father did for me uh, because I think he saw that I, I wanted more than stay there. Um, so um, then after that, I applied for one um, university, the Mexico, Tech de Monterrey in Mexico. It's a very huge university. Mm -hmm. And somehow I, I went, I, I got in, I got in and I got a scholarship and, um, I started working and starting coming to the U S because I, my brother was living here already coming to the U S to work mm -hmm. and to, uh, for two months, um, like an, a summer break, I will come here and work, 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 work two jobs, three jobs sometimes, make money and get all that money and go back to Mexico. And I, that's the way I got my college degree, uh, paying for everything. <laughs> yes, it was crazy. Wait, 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 hold on. So I, I just need to, I'm still thinking about when you left the next day, so where'd you stay? You and had no money. I know, but you know, it's because this, 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 this mentality that I had, did I, it, it, it was like, a, it, to me, I, it was like, if you don't, if you don't take the risk now, mm. you're going to stay where you are. Mm. If, if you don't look for the opportunity, make the opportunity, you're going to stay, you're going to, you're going to end where you are. And right. I didn't want that. So I, I always, there's always, there's something in me yes. that um, I'm, I'm not afraid well, I'm afraid and I do it. Um, it's just like uh, that I have, uh, it's something in me tells me, take the step and everything else will follow. Mm. And, and um, 
it, it in always and all the things that I do in my life and that I knew I knew inside of me that I was gonna find the job I knew in me that I there was something there but I just needed to jump to take the leap mm. so so yes I got the job my mom didn't know anything about me for two weeks because they usually when you work in a house you 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 take a they let you go to your home um for the, every two weeks for the weekend so my mother um knew that i was okay until i came um in two weeks in two weeks so for two weeks she didn't know where she you was know, your didn't father know. didn't know where you was no, I didn't know where I was. she knew that i was in some in in i was calientes, but she didn't know where i was oh my gosh so um, then two weeks later you go back to the house back. Okay. And I just said I got I got a job and I'm okay and and that started everything because I knew and my father knew and I'm, I was resentful for this. Yes. But until I realized what I did, uh, what he did. did for me, he knew that I wanted something big. Mm. And that I, he knew that I didn't that I didn't want to stay there because I didn't, but I didn't know how to express it because, um, it's, 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 it was a small town and it had nothing for me. Mm. Um, but yes. And then the, the, I, I got a job and I started making a living and I, then I got into college and then, um, uh, I came to the U I got a visa to, and came and work, uh, and, got enough money to go back and pay for my school my expenses um for the whole year oh my gosh so then when you would come here to in the states you stay with your brother i stayed with my brother because he was here and he he would let me borrow his car one car that he had and i would get um I, I, one time i had three jobs like three jobs because i knew i knew that i was going back and and um and finish college but i knew that my parents because we were we didn't have much money right i knew that they couldn't support me and i knew that i didn't want to go back to my town and i knew that i i wanted to do something different and um and yes i i graduated um the university it was a big deal because it was a very good university, but my parents didn't have any idea about the college. They didn't even know about they the didn't, They didn't have the idea the how good was the college. Mm. Uh, in Mexico? In Mexico. It's one of the best colleges in Mexico. Wow. And it, how, for how long? Uh, four and a half years. So it still took this. Okay, it took four and a half years to get your degree. Yes. So that was a very interesting journey. <laughs> But it was, it, it, I worked so much when I came, when I was here in the U.S. in my summertime, so much that I hardly sleep sometimes. But I make enough money to go back, pay for my tuition, for my expenses, um, that I, and, and that's the way I, I, I got my college degree. Wow. It, but but this is this is what I'm telling you. I knew there's something there's something there's a voice that always tells me, you take the step, make the leap, take it. It just whatever. But don't think about what but what is next. Mm. After that, something is gonna come, and then you take it, and then you take it, and uh, that's been my the way I, my life, the way of life, my way of life. I guess. Wow. Okay, y'all. Take the step, take the leap, take the leap. Okay, so now you are college educated. You don't work three jobs. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Took the leap. So then what's next? Okay, so I came to the U.S. Then after college, I, 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 after finishing college, I came to, um, to get a master's degree. I, I came, I said, I'm going to go to the U.S. And I'm going to, um, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm gonna get a master's degree and how I didn't know but I knew the same way I did college I was gonna do the master's degree so I told my brother I said I'm gonna apply for SMU and um and he said don't dream too high just don't just 
that's hard. It's a hard college to get in. <laughs> And 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 I I went and apply and I and he said how are you gonna pay it's expensive something is gonna come up so I went and apply and uh, I got in <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so you went to SMU and got your masters from SMU I started. Okay. 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 But you I did. But you been, got in. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then, and then I and there's something else coming. Okay. Like, I'm listening. Yes, I I I apply and I I got half of my classes and then I got pregnant because I met my ex husband uh, right away after I moved to the U S permanently and um and I was in in, in SMU and I met my ex husband and he um. Um, I, we got married right away and I got pregnant and then I he was doing construction he was a builder and um, I just whenever I got pregnant I left everything else I said my kids my mm. babies are first and then I went full time to being a mom um, um. <laughs> How many children do you have? Two. Oh, you have two. Wow. Two. Okay, so, so full time to yes. being a mom. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. And then uh, the 2008 came. Uh, remember the the recession? Yes. 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 So it, my my ex husband was doing his business was doing good, but then after the recession, he went down. Mm. Like everybody in construction. Yeah, the, the mom, housing. Almost everybody. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, but. It, Bad. It was really bad because they stopped um, uh, paying checks and like everything stopped from one day to the other. I, I don't know if you remember. It was really bad for the people doing construction. So I remember that day that he came to me and he said, um, this is bad. This is, there's no money. Uh, uh, I owe so much money to my employees. Yes. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. So that whenever he told me that, I um, I decided that I wanted to do something. Um, so I opened a cleaning business. Uh, the next the next day that we talked, I I started working on the cleaning business. I went to my neighbors and I um, asked them if I could be could clean their house. And uh, that's how I started cleaning uh, houses, and the business grew um, a lot. And and then on, on on the pandemic, I had to close the business because nobody wanted cleaning. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. So now, from two thousand and eight until twenty twenty. Until 2020, I was doing okay with the cleaning business. I had, um, I was being, I, I was able to be a full-time mom because I got divorced after the 2008, my, my, my marriage went down okay. really bad. Okay. Because uh, my, it was hard for him. Mm -hmm. uh, for, it was hard for the marriage. So after that, um, I, my cleaning business helped me so much to support my family, my kids. And I was so happy doing that because I wasn't making a lot of money, but I was able to provide for them yes. and stay with them mm. because that's always been my 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 thing. Yeah. I wanted to be with my kids. Um, then, um, and mostly because one of my, my, uh, my daughters, she's a gymnast. Okay. And uh, and for that, I, she had to do homeschool. So I I was able to help her with the homeschooling. And having the cleaning business was comfortable. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, comfortable. But I knew there was something else for me. Mm -hmm. I knew that that was temporary. Mm -hmm. I, it was like, no, that, but I was okay because I kept telling myself, this, this, right now, your priority is your kids. Yes. So I went through... Uh, uh, that until 2018 and uh, 2020 the pandemic came 2020 okay so i had to close everything <laughs> you know remember, right just, because like, nobody nobody wanted people in their house i wasn't gonna let you come in my <laughs> house Martha. <laughs> no so everybody 
<laughs> like it was, she was like it was like 2008 everybody from one day to the another was like oh, i am having deja vu because she was like mm. the next day like everybody nobody leaves their homes so i had to call the my girls yes and say we are i guess we're not working anymore nobody wants people there in mm. so it was like okay now what Okay, in the pandemic, with no work, with no jobs, but I have a, I have a lot of customers. Yes, that they kept um, helping me because I was with them for, through two thousand eight to yes. two thousand twenty. Yes, I had, I had, still have customers from two thousand eight on the, on the cleaning business. Really? Yes. Um. So they, they, they wouldn't. Um. Some of them said, uh, I don't this is my they will still pay me it, not a lot but it's just enough for me to pro, pro, provide for my children yes um so I, i'm so grateful for them because they they will just send just they will just pay me like if i was cleaning wow <laughs> and then oh, and, i and, hope and, my clean lady don't hear this <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you have to do something like that. If so, <laughs> take care of your cleaning lady. <laughs> no, I do take care of her, but that okay, that was good. I do though, but go ahead. Yes, I do. So yes, I two thousand. Her. Two, the, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. um, so after the pandemic, um, uh, you know, a client called me and he she said, I, I have um, an, a friend who just bought a building. Um, and they need uh, they need cleaning the building. Nobody is there, but they don't want the uh, they just bought it. Um, but they don't want it. They they want it, somebody to keep maintain the building clean. Uh, but I didn't know you want to take it because nobody's everybody's staying home. So I said I take it. Um, it was perfect because it was empty. Yes. I could clean it, me, myself. Mm. I, I was going to the building and clean it. Um, and I would do it at night. Um, and so during the day, I would stay with my children. Mm -hmm. And then this, <laughs> I am so grateful for, for this guy and for this person, who, for the owner of the building, because he will, he started saying, hey, Marta, this, um, um, the bathrooms, the wall in the bathroom need to uh, be repainted. Uh, do you know anybody? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know it's somebody, and and <laughs> and I will call uh, friends. Uh, hey, hey, can you help me to do this wall? And this building is empty. Mm. Uh, and then I started doing a little construction, construction, and I will. Meaning, uh, meaning. Wait, hold on, Marta. You mean when you said you started doing construction? Meaning you would call people to do it or you no, would start doing it yourself call people to, to do, do it. it okay okay to, to do but i i will never say no i got you so if i mm. if, they, if that was something that i was it was needed from me yes and because not everything i say yes but in but it, there is something in me that if i lose if i listen closely mm -hmm. if i listen um that I know that I can do, even if I have haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> Not to everything I can say that, but it, and the things that come my way, yes. and if I listen to myself mm -hmm. and I get quiet, and something says that yes, you can do it, I will say yes, I can do it. Oh, I love it. But it's just taking the step, mm -hmm. and then everything else, and then because I know that I took that knowing that I can do it. God provides Come on the now. next step. Come on now. <laughs> mm. and, and I, it, that's the way I live my life all the time. Mm. Taking what it comes, listening, is this for me? And if I hear that it is for me, that I have the confidence that I will have, el, that I have, will have the how. Mm. I will have the how. What God will provide the how, I will do it. So before we go on, um, you know, what's so good is I also know that thing that you're talking about when there's just this knowing that just comes over you and you may not know. Yeah, 
the steps or what it looks like. But for me, I, 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 I get this feeling too, when I know like, it's time to make a move or, you know, I need to do it, accept it, or, you know, just to do something different than what I'm doing now, even though it's scary. Mm -hmm. I know that feeling, but I want, let me ask you this because a lot of times people will say to me when I, cause I can talk about it. Like you can talk about it, but people say, <laughs> cause I call that God, but people say, um, well, how do I know what it sounds like or what, you know what I'm saying? Like they say that they can't really, um, identify that sound or that feeling that we're talking about now. If you can describe that, I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but can you describe like, you know, when something, like you said, when, when you're looking at something and someone provides an opportunity for you, and even though you've never done it before, you said you get quiet and then all of a sudden there's a knowing that happens. Can you describe what it sounds like, what it feels like? After you ask the question, after you are quiet or you ask the question, can I do that? Mm -hmm. And if you feel peace, mm. oh. if you feel peace, then that means that that thing is for you. That doesn't mean that you are not afraid. Right. We are always afraid. Yeah. It's human nature. But it's just that knowing that 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 um feeling the peace the yes uh when you ask to yourself can i do that and then you say you that just comes from deep inside and you feel peace mm -hmm. it's good. still afraid yes but peace, peace. oh i get it i get it and then then you you take it and you take the leap and make the step and then open the door and then voila it's just like everything else comes Lord. after that it's not easy because you still go through that's the fear. right that's right that's because, right and fear paralyzes us sometimes mm, mm -hmm. but when we when when we don't listen deeply um or when we don't pay attention to that, that uh, the answer that is deep inside us. And we, after that, we, if you get peace, that, 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 that means that everything else will get provided for you. You will, you will get the how. Mm, oh, that's good. Okay. All right. Thank you. That was good. That was good. Peace. And it doesn't mean you're not scared. And it doesn't mean anxiety doesn't pop up and those thoughts after that as you're moving through it. But in that moment, when you ask yourself the question and you're quiet, that sense of peace, I, I, I think that that's, I get it. That's good. Okay. So now, right, purpose, because now you're asked to, to do construction. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, uh, and then, you know, the little, the, 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 like if I had to fix a wall mm -hmm. and, and, and I just will take the picture and, and my guy fixing the wall and put it in my social media. Mm. And, and then a friend of mine, uh, uh, called me after he saw the pictures and he says, Marta, you, you, you do the construction. And I say, yes. Yes, I do construction. He said, I have a house that I'm, I'm, I'm um, remodeling in Highland Park. Would you come and, and, and give me a prize? And I was like, oh, my God. So can Not I do a, it? Wait, hold on. Okay, babe, wait, hold on. <laughs> Who, okay, who was this person that reaches yeah, out he to He was a friend. Oh, okay, so he was a friend. Okay. He was a friend, but he saw that I was building walls. Yes. And painting walls. Yes. With my, it was a little wall, but I was doing it in the building. I love uh, it. With my guy. Yes. And because, because you know what? Tell me. After that little wall, mm. and after that little thing that I said yes, mm. and I did, that's when I knew that that's what, what I wanted to do. Wow. I, I said, this is what I want to pursue, pursue uh, construction mm. after that. Can, can you imagine if I was afraid mm. and I wouldn't take that little wall 
um, I wouldn't be here. But it was the leap. It was the the the, the um, it was the trusting. Yes, the courage. The the, the voice that it was. It, it doesn't matter then because mm. it, it you I knew it was for me. Mm. It, it didn't matter how, it was for me. And you know whenever something is given to you mm -hmm. by God, mm -hmm. nobody can take it away. That's right. It's nobody. It's yours. That's right. And he will provide. He will um, tell you how to follow, how to do the the next thing. Mm. So, th so this friend yes he calls me up and he uh so I went to the to the house and mm -hmm. by that you know I I got in there we had a meeting at let's say come tomorrow at ten a.m. something like that so I got there. Um, um, outside of the house uh -huh. and I saw only guys come into the house like all the electrician the plumber the, the all the people that I was doing the the house and I was coming there to um to be uh painting mm. um and I was like what am I doing because <laughs> I saw all these guys and professional guys that yes. do that for a living and I was I was the only a woman. a woman there and yeah. I was like God and I was like no just keep going like like you know okay. just, just keep straight and and knowing that the, the, the how it's gonna come to you mm. so um I he said I I need a prize for all the painting of all the house and and uh so I gave him the prize and he so, said wait I need to ask this so do you have someone with you did you have your guy with you it was you by yourself. Okay, keep going. So he asked you, you said, give me the, he said, give me a price. Okay. And then I, I gave him the price and, and, and he, um, he said, um, it's yours. <laughs> 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 he, gave me, he gave me the biggest check I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh So this is the thing, right? Because, um, I'm a woman in business. There are plenty of women and men in business who are listening to the podcast or watching. And I'm wondering, did had you done your homework first to know how to price? Because I know when yes, we're in business, oh, okay, that's what I was going to say. Because sometimes when we're in business, we don't know what to ask for. And many times, especially when we first started, we ask for an amount that's too low because we're afraid to go too high you know what I mean so how'd you know just, what your price was you know there is a I told you the other day when uh -huh. we were talking there's an advantage of being a woman in this in a guy's business mm. because if you ask uh -huh. they will tell you mm. See, they will tell you how to do a pro how to prepare a, um, an estimate mm. every single detail because I don't I don't think they saw me at that time like a um, competition. Right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yes. Yeah. And I don't blame them. It's just like, I you know, it's just, and I was in the competition. Like <laughs> if they won it, they would take it. So I, I don't think they, they, to be honest with you, I don't think anybody thought that I was going to get it, mm. but I got it. Oh, that is <laughs> I, so I got good. it in, 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 in this, that house, that friend, that call started the business, wow. the construction. Well, the wall. The you wall. See, you see how the little thing. Mm, come on, Marta. Keep going. <laughs> see, keep going. You see how the little thing. Yeah, but sometimes we think that. Why do we take that little thing? Mm. Why, why is that going to. I want to do something big. But you see the little thing that taught me and that right there, that wall told me, this is what I want to do for a living wow. construction. So after that, um, uh, I, I got a group of guys together. And mm -hmm. again, it's just, there's something, I don't know if it's, it, I, I think it's, it's, it's my, my personality too. Mm -hmm, and it, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's easy for me to, get people together. together yes and and um and they believe in me yes and, and so i got a group of people 
together and we went and did the house, painted the house. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a learning experience because I didn't know anything, like nothing, like zero, like not not only the colors, not only nothing on on the little details in construction, uh -huh. but also the the name in English. Mm. It was like you see, <laughs> like like you you I know English like for gymnastics, my kids and everything else, but right. not on the, the even for you. I bet it's hard to name the the parts in construction. Right, so name, right. So that that was hard, but I started I started loving it, and then I got him, I got more business and more business, and um, and I know I've made a lot of mistakes because I learn I've been learning and mm -hmm. and and like um um uh, I have very 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 hard customers that taught me a lot, mm. and um, but I always knew that this is what I wanted to do, and, and then but you know. <laughs> It's just like taking the step mm. teaches you, gives you a, a clear picture of where you want to go. So mm. every time that I go to a different route, yes. it, it takes me to a different um, direction because that, but it, because it, it's, in, it's making, how do I say, it's making um, easier mm -hmm. to answer the question where I want to go. Mm, so it becomes more clear, more clear, more clear. So every step you take in life, yeah. right? Yeah. It yeah. gives you more clarity, clarity about where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yes. so good. That's good. It's just the taking the step. Mm. You don't need to, you, you don't need to know, you don't need to know mm. where your life is going to end just because you never know if you learn what you love until you are doing it. Mm. You know, I do know. It's just like um, um, so. Mm. So now after that, okay. Um, I I knew that I wanted to uh, start doing houses, um, and um, and and for this, my I got married again, and 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 my husband has been very supportive on on that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I am good at at creating. But also, I live on the side of finance, and I know that all that goes together. So he he's taking the fi the, the the finance uh, part of the business, the mm -hmm. money part of the business, mm -hmm. so I can concentrate on on the creation creative and attracting more to what I want. And I'm the one who's going and looks for the business and brings it. Mm. Um, so. Um, I started. I I knew that I wanted to do houses, um, so uh, I I we just started buying. Um, before you get to where you at now, <laughs> before you get to where you at now, okay? Because we got to go back to there. Because now I am seeing you as this woman. This uh, beautiful little petite woman, attractive woman, okay. and, and amongst, you know, all these men, when you, I'm just thinking about the very first house in Highland Park, um, which is an F, if you're not from Texas, that is an affluent part of Texas. So, which to me is like just pure genius. Like, how is that your first job? Okay. Like, how do you get a job? How do you land a job in Highland Park if you weren't supposed to be there? It doesn't work like that. Right. But okay, so now you get the, you have this first job, you get, you have your crew now who's 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 working with you, and so from that point on, because at that point you're still a single mom, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now are you getting more jobs after that? Yes, that it, since then I haven't stopped. You haven't stopped getting jobs. So one person tells another now. When I saw you, right, it was complete renovation. So it was more than just painting a wall. Mm -hmm. So then how did you go from the painting of the wall to now to like creating things on the walls and in the bar and the, like all of that that I saw at Susie's house? Like, I'm just wondering, how do you get to renovation from painting a wall? I'm just wanting to know. Hey, family, come on over here, because I have something for you. Starting off with a go-to guide for keeping your minds healthy and strong. This right here 
is the Bible to mental health. It's your mental health Bible. The name of it is Six Pillars to Power Up Your Mind and Make Mental Health a Lifestyle. Hmm. Everything that you need to know about keeping your minds healthy and strong is in this go-to guide. Where you get it from? Well, you get it from awisebrown.com backslash shop. But in this go-to guide, honey, in this mental health Bible, you know what you're going to find out? You're going to find out the benefits of aromatherapy oh, and how it can shift your mood. But guess what? You don't have to go anyplace else to look for your aromatherapy because your girls got you, okay? You can get some aromatherapy here. This is aromatherapy is in this candle. This is called a slice of happiness. It makes me tingle, like literally makes me tingle. A slice of happiness. This is a cruelty-free candle with no parabens, no formaldehyde, and no known suspected carcinogenics. Now, you know, you go out here and you find these candles that smell good, but are they good for you? Are they good for your brain? Come on now, get real with yourself. Well, this one smells delicious and it's good for you. Made with essential oils. It's a soy candle. Amazing. Uh, you can burn it. Or you can just walk by and smell it. Lord have mercy, it's so good. Okay, so that's your, your candle, your aromatherapy, which raises the dopamine in your brain. That's your natural feel good. No transmitters in your brain. All right, y'all. And, oh, I'm a part of you. You're a part of me. We are a family. We got hoodies now. And these are unisex hoodies. And they wear well. They wash well and they feel so good. So you can wear them over your clothes, you know what I'm saying, and look dope. Or you can wear them as your clothes with nothing under them, which I like to do often. And when you travel everywhere, I mean, every time I wear them, I'm moving around. People are always asking me whether I'm traveling, going to the supermarket. What's that? Who's that? And I'm like, mental health is a lifestyle. Because see, this is on the back, okay? They come in white and they come in black. I'm like, join the family, Mental Health is a Lifestyle Podcast. So there you go. Family, don't you ever say that I ain't give you nothing. You get all of these things from awisebrown.com backslash shop. All right? I got your goods. I got you. Don't have to go anyplace else. I'll see you on the other side. Well, a lot of the Susie's house they have a lot of imagination, so a lot of oh. things came from them. But I just did what, whatever they asked me. Got but you. So that's what I, the credit goes to them. I did, I, I did what they asked me to do. Got you. But it, you have to know how to do it. That's I mean, right. Like, <laughs> that's so. But it, it, it's 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 the no listening to the fear. Mm. because I'm telling you it's like I did the wall but it's doing a wall and doing something more complicated yes uh, it, it, there's no difference there mm. it's just the, to believe Ooh, the, it's good. asking that question to yourself can I, I is this for me and and uh, that's if you feel peace you know that that's yes and that doesn't mean that you are f not afraid I was so afraid in the house like they will say like i want this to be twisted like that this world to be this and i was like how, how am i gonna do it <laughs> see yes but i just okay yes and i will get it done because i knew that i was where i wanted to be and mm. what i wanted to do and um and and i knew that after that I like to do complicated stuff mm, like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's just like that's in my doing complicated stuff that I haven't done before. Mm -hmm. It is not because I'm not afraid. I am afraid. It's just I, I learned in a very early age the fear mm. it's not gonna it hasn't has it, it doesn't have power over me oh that's so good it, fear is just fear yes mm. it, it's it's just 
and all the in all the instance that little girl who went to uh, that city without having a job it's just because she knew yeah. it's deep inside that she knew and i she was up i was afraid mm -hmm. and i remember the bus the, the ride i took a bus um the ride to the city it was horrible because I was like, oh my God, am I making the right decision? Oh my God, I should go back, but I could feel it. Like, mm. oh, what am I doing? I'm, I, I'm driving away from home now. What am I? So full of fear. Mm. But it was like, no, that something is going to come because this is what I have to take. Mm. This is what I where I have to go. Mm. And, and, and it's just like with that renovation, it was, I knew that I could do it. Afraid? <laughs> but I could do it, and I did it. Oh, you did it, girl, you did it. And, and, and I had the people, I had the, mm. the it, it's, there is, it is because you, I think people can read okay. you. Mm. You see? Yes, okay. I think people can read how secure I am, okay. even though that I'm afraid. Oh, that's good. But I, they can read me and they follow mm -hmm. me because of that. And they do what I ask them to do, even they even they do what I ask them to do, even if I'm not the expert, they are the expert. Mm. You know what it is? I'm just gonna say, I'm talking about for me personally, me with you, your courage is contagious because you know what because you have integrity and you you ha you have a track record so although we may not see what's in the future but we we can see what's in your past that's good yeah yeah i'm just saying from the other you know speaking from the other side mm -hmm. Yeah, is someone who is also like inspired by you. Yeah, like that's what I feel. That's what I see. Yes, there there, there are moments that I take I I take when I take on something that is big. That I tell myself like if uh, after I like let's say there's a, a commercial building that I. I did a, I, I painted a huge commercial building. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I went there and they gave it to me and they gave me the check, when I went home, mm -hmm. I was dying. I was like, come on, Marta. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, because she... <laughs> she's like, really? What are you doing? But it's just like, I, I keep listening to that voice, you see? Yes, but no, no, no. You have to tell us why when you say, so when you get home, is it when you said that, is it because you're shocked? Like if you look at the amount of money and like, how did I get here? And what am I, it's like that. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. It's, those are like slap yourself minutes. I mean, a moments, right? Where I can slap myself into like, is this really me? Am I doing that? Is amazing. And you know, for some, you know, you know what I used to get. I don't get it as much uh -huh. sometimes, but that's fear too. Mm -hmm. uh, I get the uh, imposter syndrome. Yes, of course, right. Oh my god! Like all the time, because I, I say, come on, Marta, why don't lay low? Like, just like, <laughs> lay low. No. Were, what are you doing? It's that voice in myself and that's fear. Yes, that's right. That's right. And, and, and then I will think, what if they find out that I'm not that person? Mm, Lord, have mercy. Have you ever felt that? I don't know that I've ever actually had imposter syndrome. Now I have a lot of clients, you know, that have, and now I've had other syndromes, but I don't know that it's really imposter syndrome. But that's fear. 
It's it is fear. fear. It is fear. It is fear. Auto sabotage. Yes, yourself. That's right. That's and, right. And, 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 mm. and, and, and it's it's just it's just so normal. And whenever you take on something that is was like that, you know, it's big. Uh -huh. And and then you 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 think you you think yourself, how am I gonna go through that? How am I gonna? Um, finish the project how am i going what is mm. what where the resources are gonna come and then and then when you just let it be because that's gonna be there yes the next day after i get the check yes. the next or well, a big project the next day okay okay show us show us on let's let's start working and everything lines up the people that i need to do meet mm -hmm. um everything 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 starts coming it's, it's like now i know what i'm on what i'm gonna feel mm -hmm. but i learned to just let it be there. oh that's good that's so good that's good and then the next day i know okay this is short time let's mm -hmm. go let's go to the do it oh that's good Let, let's get go let's go get it done yeah no that's good that's good that's good and you know when you were thinking i mean a lot of people do face imposter syndrome you know what what came up for me is um because a lot of times in our childhood the things that we hear from our parents right but it's in our subconscious mm -hmm. it's not in our conscious but as we get older and we leave our parents houses we start saying those things to mm -hmm. ourselves, right? And so for me, when you just said that, like, you know, what am I doing? Or how is this? Or you can't do, it just took me straight back to when your father said, listen, you know, if you stay here, there's nothing for you here. Or, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So to me, I don't know. That's just what came up for me, you know, us taking on those voices from our parents, because we do do that. Mm -hmm. So to your point, Imposter syndrome isn't one that I have, but I got some other syndromes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, that's true. Yes. And it, like you said, it is, it's based in anxiety and it can be self-sabotaging. That's right. And fear. So this is the thing though. So yes, we're talking about these big checks and you doing well, right. And you getting one project and another project. So now you, you have this huge company. But then, right, because, you know, we, there are always peaks in life, but then also valleys. And so I do know that you and your husband went through, your first husband went through this crash with the construction, with real estate, like everybody did in 2008. And then you went through a divorce. So I know those are also, those are valleys, right? Mm -hmm. But then you got married again, which is another peak. You start this new company, right? But I, I, I also know that you did go through bankruptcy at some point right mm -hmm. so at what when was that it was uh, it, it came all from the 2008 uh, okay that's when it was yes oh that's so i let me tell tell you. me okay so you remember at the, the cleaning business was okay yes okay but it wasn't i i never had I, I always haven't had enough for me and my children, but I, it was sometimes stressful. Yes. Okay? Because I kept carrying a load on me that so much did from mm -hmm. the 2008, from my previous marriage and all that. So, but I kept saying to myself, I can do this. I can carry it. And oh, I'm going to, I'm going to get to the other side, carrying this load. And I'm going to, later um, it, it was like uh, to me yes now that i reflect back it was like you know i don't know if here but in 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 old days in mexico like they used to say take what, whatever god g gave you uh -huh. and uh, just go with it mm -hmm. um because that's your life that's your that's what you have it's it, it was like resignate to whatever you got you're going through. Uh, okay. Just take it in. How can so I like accept it. So whatever you're going through, uh, accept it, but in a way of. 
victimizing yourself. Oh, you okay. Know, oh, when oh, this is what I have to carry. Oh, this. like a burden, so, like a bur like you deserve it. Like almost like that. Like like, like you, you deserve, deserve it. it. So this is what you get. You this is what you created. So now you just go ahead and you take it and you just keep carrying it. And show everybody how you can carry all that Ooh. so you can get clean, you know? Oh, you how, okay. That mentality yes. that maybe the suffering is gonna make you clean. Oh, okay. So I keep carrying that big luggage in my back. So the luggage specifically was debt. Mm -hmm. So it was a okay. lot of debt, a lot of debt. From, from the, the from the previous marriage and all from that the previous thing. marriage and the construction. construction and everything, Lord. Okay, so now you carrying this debt and you have your kids, and I I knew that that was holding me down mm. you know, in a way because I was doing um, uh, cleaning. Yes, but uh, this load it doesn't let you do anything else mm. because it was too heavy. So a friend of mine, um, after that class, uh, oh, after, uh, after the Alive OS yes. class that we uh, saw each other in. Okay. A, a friend of mine, uh, told me to, um, that went to that class, mm -hmm. uh, talked to me and he said, like, what are you doing? Mm. I mean, there's a way for you to just like to start all over. And I'm like, you have so much. Uh, shame because mm. that's what it gives you that's right that's shame. good shame um on you that's what i wanted to say so much shame that mm. it was so heavy um that I, I couldn't even move i couldn't create i was just surviving with the cleaning and oh. it was okay because i was with my oh, kids but i was in a way uh i wasn't happy like because right. i was scary too much mm -hmm. you see yeah um and it, 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 so much shame, like, it's just like, yes, a lot, um, because I felt like a failure, like, mm. and, and he said, just let's, let's go through that, uh, clean everything and, and you will feel better. So when he said clean everything, what was he talking about? Bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. And he said, I, I can help you. I can help you file for that. And you, he said, you will see how you're going to hit so low mm. because you, you debt and bank and, and all that I was carrying, uh, that was something that I didn't want to look at, mm. but I was carrying it, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to see oh, it. Oh, that's good. You didn't want to really face it. Didn't want to get into see, it. I didn't oh. want to face it. And I didn't want to talk to the, uh, the, the people about I it. it and anything because mm. it, it was, Shameful. Shameful. Mm. And I was so embarrassed. Wow. And that was pushing me down. And he said, facing that, it's like a big monster that is you're carrying. And facing it and looking it at, at the eyes, is just going to lose the power. Let me show you how to do it. Mm. And we sat down and he, he, it was, it was so hard because he says, start telling me how much, start telling me all this. <laughs> not your you numbers, not, not all your numbers, not your numbers. <laughs> and they bring me the papers and I was like, okay, here. But you know, with that, he, he, he saved my life. Wow. He was like, don't worry. I see this all the time. Wow. We go through this, but believe me, Marta, you have to go deep, mm. deep down to go up. To go up. And that was what you said to me that night at the, at her house. And it brought tears to my eyes. When you said that, that sometimes you have to give it all up and go all the way down in order to come back up. After, after they said you're clean of the, mm. you are clear, you're, there's, you don't know anything. I felt like a free woman. Wow. And I had, I, I, that's when I, after that was the um, COVID. And after that was the uh, uh, cleaning of the building, the little wall. Mm. And. I wasn't shameful Ooh, anymore. That's so good. I wasn't, I, I didn't have any shame. That's so good. You know, the shame was 
binding it holds you down yes. it pulls you down and all that courage that you are talking about yes that people follow follows me first, yes yes it was hiding because i was mm. so ashamed i was like covering myself with that Mm. And it was comfortable at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know? Of course it is. Yes, yeah. Yeah, this dysfunctional thinking <laughs> gets is really comfortable. Yeah, I call it like one of those old blankets that's like natty ratty that you don't want to let go of. Mm-hmm. When the reality is is they have beautiful new blankets out here with great thread count that you know, mm-hmm. if you just jumped yeah. just, but it's like nope, let me just get this little yes, natty no, ratty. It's comfortable. It's heavy, but I just It's heavy, it but stinks. But I know what is going to happen, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. But, it's just like oh. that it gives you certain cert, um, certainty. certainty you know what this is and i'm not it's not gonna nothing is i mean it's killing me but, but it's, it's not killing, killing me. i know it's that it's killing, killing me <laughs> at least i know that it's killing me you know yes i do know yeah they say this like the devil you know is better than the devil that you don't know yes but i'm most miserable and but sometimes i look i think about that my my daughter the other day says something about that mm. that we struggle so much she felt the struggle and mm. she felt because i was miserable i mean trying to hold on to this Too much. plus being a mom plus just like no i can do it like being i thought that was brave yeah being brave. oh but no but no oh that's so good no because i was i was wasn't doing what I came here to do mm. and we come here to create yes oh that's good then I wasn't doing that. and you wasn't doing it wow all this abundance outside and this it was waiting for me and it's all there for us to take it mm. it's enough there is enough for everybody Oh, that's good. Okay. So you came out of the bankruptcy. I saw you after that. Now you renovate, you uh, do million dollar houses. Uh, Your business is thriving. Uh, Your children are thriving. You're remarried. And now you've added something else to your business. So tell us about that. We are, um, you know, that we are buying um, old, old houses. Mm. And like right now, we we are um, building a house from the bottom. Uh, there was burned completely. Mm. So we are um, rebuilding it. It's so and, good. And, <laughs> and then I saw another one that... Uh, that um it was beautiful and and we got it and you uh, bought it and uh, we're gonna start with that too and and uh, I know every time that I see go through something that is new yes I know that it's for me mm. and I know that do- doing houses like that I, it's what I want and oh. and now doing that I know that that I want to start building um, I want to buy a piece of land and start building houses in there too. I love it and and I tell you maybe it sounds like a little um, dreamy not to me but maybe to many people it, but but you remember the voice, yeah, and remember how uh, we listen. And if he speaks, gives you peace, that's where you're supposed to go. Yes, and, and I know that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, that's so. Good. And I'm afraid. Of course, I'm afraid. Yeah, but I I know that uh, that that voice when I listen to it and gives me peace is God speaking to me. Mm-hmm. And I know that He can do everything, so He will provide everything he will provide the rest oh my gosh that is so good and 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 whenever you do this Mm -hmm. you don't do it for money 
because you know whenever you start mm. it's just like mm. you, whenever you focus on what gives you makes you alive yeah that attracts the money mm. and 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 there's a point where you yes of course so it, or we all need it but if you follow f your heart and f look for the things that are supposed to be for you yeah i know that god is involved on in that mm. and god will provide the money too and he will provide the money okay so before we go, I want to talk about money. I'm so glad you came to money because you and I have had some very interesting conversations surrounding money. And I know it's just you talking, but for me, it just, it lights up my soul. So, so when you talk about money and God providing money, right? There was something you told me, you're talking about, we talk about currency, mm -hmm. right? So just, so just, just tell a family, what is money? Do we ever have to worry about getting money and wanting money and, you know, having money? Because like you said, we do need money to take care of ourselves. Not that we need so much money, but we need enough money to, to feed ourselves, to provide shelter. So those things, right? For our basic needs and where we live in the United States of America, we need money, right? So so there is a, a, a need for money, but could you please explain how you attract more money into your life? For someone who got on that bus as a little girl in Mexico and didn't have a dime in her pocket, she may have had a dime or a quarter to get the newspaper, <laughs> but she had no money. So from that to everything that you've said, right? Going to school at SMU, um, having a construction business, to now having a new construction renovation business to now buying land and homes and building going through bankruptcy tell us about money <laughs> what what are your thoughts on money how do you attract more money you know you know that, that i don't i don't have the right answer but i can tell you what gives me okay movement mm. makes money mm. because to me money is energy mm -hmm. and the more you move the more energy you 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 um create Great. Mm. so think about that it's just like a simple thing if i would i moved from my town to the city oh come on now so it's a movement mm. and that created something mm. that, that created energy, that created interactions, that created, and that created money. Yeah. So the more interactions, the more movement, the more, it's, it's like, uh, it's currency, right? Yes. Currency. Yes. Supposed, supposed to, to move yes and then if that's supposed to be moving maybe you're supposed to move, be moving too. yes mm. and the more you move the more you br will bring it because it's, it is not yours it's just going there mm. and maybe just move the way it moves but not in a crazy free way right it's just like it's it's like I was sitting down with the bankruptcy, right? Yes. No moving. Mm. And I created a movement. I needed energy to oh. do that. And that created something. Mm. 
That's good. And every time you say yes. And every time I say yes. And that's the, also movement. Movement. Because that will, because that, you see, it doesn't paralyze me. That's it's, I'm afraid. But if I don't move, if I stay where, where I am, mm -hmm. it's not going to create anything. Mm -hmm. So moving, taking the step, go through the fear, listening to the voice, mm. and that will create it. More money and more money. Yeah, because it just makes me think about those checks. When you said you you was like shocked at the checks, right? But you didn't do it for those checks. You didn't even know that was really the number. It was about pushing through fear and moving. Yes. Just going, listening Just to the going. God in you and moving. Oh, that's good. And something else you said to me, you said, um, mm, so if I was just to invest some money, like I had a hundred thousand dollars and I said, okay, I'm going to invest this or, you know, put this here or put that there. And you were saying to me, you said, and then even that money is not your money, right? It's not even like, like it's still moving. The money is still moving. The, mo the money has to keep moving. It's, it's because of like you, you sit down and, um, and you will get nothing it's like picture me with the dead in my couch that's the way i see myself you see yes that's the way i see myself when i think about that because i i didn't move i i froze and i didn't take the step to go to look for a lawyer you see moving mm. take steps oh that's good then that will create it mm. and the, the, but the thing is that we have to, or I have to be vigilant to the voice inside, mm -hmm. deep inside, because there are voices here. That's right. That's good. And, and that's fear. That's good. That's right. Oh, but the one good. that gives you peace mm. and that tells you deep, 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 that's a yes. That's a yes. Yes, yes. Yes. And, and money? Always goes with the jazz. Oh. It's that jazz of saying yes to that answer that you had, the voice that you had. Because can you imagine, like, if I didn't listen to the voice that said, grab your stuff, mm -hmm. go to the near city, and leave. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. I would have stay there mm. I wouldn't mm. say yes because yes. I was too afraid mm -hmm. and I wouldn't have money so yes money goes with the yes to the question and to the answer that comes from deep inside and mm. the one that gives you peace that's good that's good and it, it also makes me think about when people, some people, you know, when you hear a lot of money experts and they say that your money should always be making money. So it's a little different, but seems like the same principle, right? So it's not like you just put it under the mattress or you put it in the bank and it just sits there, but you need to invest it, right? If it's mutual funds or the stock market or whatever the thing is, I'm not suggesting any of those things, but that's what financial experts always say, right? Is your money needs to be making money. If your money it's is not making moving. money, then right, it needs to be moving. Well, it, it needs to be moving, which it gives you the the better picture of money is energy. It's energy. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay, Marta. I didn't think it was going to be this good, though. Oh, okay. I mean, no, no, yeah, but, <laughs> because I never done this before. Right. No, this is good. No, well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for it. It's an honor to be here with you. Oh, no, it's an honor for you, for, for you, for, for me to be here with you, for you to join me here. It is an honor. 
I just, I just love you. I love, I love your spirit. You. <laughs> But thank you so much for joining us. And guys, um, so um, is there any last things that you want to say to the family? Anything that you that you want to put out there? I mean, thank you so much for sharing your story. I really believe your short your story needs to be shared. I literally, as we were sitting here, I promise you, because I know you are just getting started. Like I, I know that I can feel that. But I'm telling you, I see a movie made out of your life. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I saw. I saw like a flash because I, I would watch it. Like I literally see a movie made out of your life. You just getting started. So is there anything else that you or any last words that you want to share with the family? It's just. If there's any doubt where you need to go, just listen to that voice. Mm. In we have all the answers. We have all the answers we need. Mm. I mean, I have all the answers I need. You have all the answers you need. Yeah. And <laughs> the funny thing is that well, not the funny. The good thing is that we are we all are going the same to the same place. That was good. That was very good. Thank you. Okay, family. Ooh. So listen to that voice. That voice, I say, is the God in you. Listen to that voice. It sounds like, it feels like peace. Where there is no rumbling, rambling, you know, all of that is up in your head. You know, anxiety and fear. But it's that feeling inside when you think of whatever the idea is, it just gives you peace. So be aware of whatever your thing is. And then as Marta would say, no, I messed that up. But as Marta <laughs> <laughs> would say, yes, is, is go, jump, jump. Because God the universe is always conspiring for your good. So whatever you need to support that dream or that thought or that yearning, you know, like it's going to come. You don't have to worry about all of that. You just follow that feeling and go after it. Although you may be fearful, do it anyway. Do it anyway. Well, all right, family, thank you <laughs> once again for joining me another week on the Mental Health is a Lifestyle podcast. I will see you next week on the next episode of the Mental Health is a Lifestyle podcast. You know, I'm your girl, Andrea Wise Brown, and I love you. And Marta, I love you. I love you.